experience after we have taken in food or fluid that the body is going to bring some reaction. Maybe it's an aftertaste in our mouth. Maybe it's a gurgle in our stomach. Maybe it's a burp. Maybe it's a fad. But everything we ingest brings about some reaction in our being. It's the same with stories, because stories are chemistry. Even though we don't remember the story or don't understand the story, it's going to bring a reaction in one way or another in us. So let's see what this story brings up for us, without, like food, not being able to hold back or know what reaction there is going to be, but to allow it to emerge. It's a story about a very rich man who was also wise. He had an only but an errant son. But when he was dying, the wise man called his son to him and said, My son, I am leaving you a very large inheritance, but if ever you reach the time when you are penniless and there is not a crumb of bread on your shelf, then enter that door over there and follow the instructions that are there. But when the, the wise rich man passed away, the son could not resist the temptation to enter that door to see what was behind it. And when he entered that room, there was a wooden block and hanging from the roof there was a rope with a noose and on the box was written stand on the box put the noose around your neck and jump now the son was very affronted how could his father give such instructions to his only son but as the son was leaving the room, ignoring what was there, he noticed that there was something written on the wall. But after reading the words that were written there, he put them aside, out of his mind, and left. And in the following days, he dissipated the abundant wealth that his father had left him, giving parties for his friends, rousing and drinking and womanizing, until after some time, he had no money left in his coffers. It came to the time where he did not even have money to buy food. So, with the very few last coins that he had in his pocket, he went to buy some yogurt and bread. But as he was walking away from the store, 
a dog, a hungry dog, came by and knocked the yogurt out of his hand and stole his bread. So now he was totally bereft. So he went to his friends, seeking arms and comfort. But they scoffed at him and said, Surely you're not that poor. So now the young man went back to his house and he truly knew what it was meant when his father said to him, if he was <coughs> bereft, penniless, and without a crumb to eat. So with resolution, he went over to that door and entered that room and again with intent he stood on the box putting the noose around his neck and he jumped but when he jumped the ceiling fell out and out poured gold coins many many gold coins he gathered up this wealth and then he called all his friends together for a feast and after the feast he said to them there are rats in our town that are always hungry, but they do not eat food. They will only eat gems. Put up your hand if you agree with me. And all his friends put up their hand. And then the young man chided them and said, when I was penniless and came to you for comfort, you scolded me and sent me away. But now that you want something from me, you agree with everything I say, even though it is stupid. He sent them all away stating, I am now going back to take the wise advice written on the wall by my father. I am on my path. So the question that arises as the chemistry of this story is ingested is what was it that was written on the wall of the room allowing it to arise in us. The reaction of the chemistry of this story, and all in life is chemistry. What does this bring forth from us? in answer to the question, what did the father write on the wall of the room? On 
everything he wrote, every ending is a new beginning. Thank you.